Welcome back guys. Last video we learned how to identify ratio, rate and proportion and also that we comparing one to another and also it doesn't have to be always number. We know that we can come up with some object and we can actually play with it and know that we can express in three different ways as a ratio. So now this video I'm going to learn actually how we can form or is it forming a proportion given to fractions okay so and also i'll try to show you if we can figure out which fraction is bigger which one fraction is smaller and which fraction is equal so we're going to figure that out also with using inequality sign less than greater than and equal okay so guys here you go so let's take the first one here so the best and the easiest way okay to check out best and easiest way to check out if other two fraction is equal we just cross product remember there is a technique you have to do you have to start with this three okay we have to start with this three this three down here okay you gotta multiply this first okay so if you do multiply this first okay or you can reduce the next one to the right it's up to you or you can say well my first number is here well actually you know what let's actually analyze that first so some will say you know what this is 8 and this is 64. Can we take, get 64? So if I multiply by 8 and multiply by 8, here you go. Okay. So multiply by 8 and multiply by 8. That gives me 24 also on the top. So yeah, that means this is a proportion. Or I can clearly just cross multiply, which is always it works. Okay. How do you do that? You have to do the, this first, the three first numerator. So we can say 3 times 64 equal to 8 times 24. Okay. So if you look into this here, right, you can jump into any calculator you have available, right? Any calculator you have and you do long multiplication is up to you. And I'm going to show you here 3 times 64 is going to give you 192. Well, you see something weird because I didn't clear the memory okay now you'll see actually nothing is gonna so we have 3 times 64 and also we have 8 times 24 they're exactly same see that they're exactly same so well clearly I see that would give me 192 192 is equal to 192 so guess what they are equal so that's form of proportion yes it is a proportion proportion okay so that's how we come up with that this is a proportion so check mark it's a proportion and also yeah you cross multiply now we do the same thing on the next one again you can do any way you want but the best thing is just cross multiply and see if they are equal so you do the first one first again you want to do this one first so clearly again, 3 times 9 is 27 is equal to 6 times 20 is 120. Easy to calculate this. And I can clearly see they are not equal. So we say this time not a proportion. Pro -on. Not a proportion. Okay. Now let's take a look on the next one, following one. So same thing here we're going to do. We're going to cross multiply okay or you can use this one cross multiply just like that remember i have to do this first okay that is the first thing you have to do three times 64 that is what we must follow the first numerator so three times 64 is equal to eight times 24 okay so again you want to check if you have calculator handy you can check it out three times 64 and it gives you 192 oh seems like we're using the same question so i have to adjust it sorry about that seems like we have a same question here so i'll have to come up with a different example here just give me a little bit time i'm going to change this to oh, maybe nine okay i'm going to put down this as a nine all right let's make it nine okay so now we're going to have a different number okay all right, so basically we do 
9 times 64, 24 times 8. So it's going to give us 9 times 64 equal to 8 times 24. And you do the same OA, you check out with your little calculator you have available, right? 9 times 64, which gives you 576, and 8 times 24, that would give you 192. So clearly, first one gives me 576, second one is giving me 192, therefore they are not equal as you clearly see. So it's not forming a proportion, not a proportion. Okay, not a proportion. Why? Because left hand side, left hand side is not equal to right hand side. It always works this way. Okay. Now also we want to check out which one is bigger, which one is smaller. Okay. In terms of, so I'm going to go back to the beginning actually, and I'm going to actually adjust a little bit here. Okay. I'm going to keep everything same, just adjust it a little bit here. You see this one? I'm going to actually put down, you know, take off those. Okay. And I'm erasing this also, so I don't have to recreate it again. Okay. Now, if I ask you a question, use less than, greater than, and not equal to, or maybe equal to, okay, or maybe equal to, use this symbol in between them, use them, okay, so well, 192 is clearly equal to 192. So we know they are equal, okay? Now next one, 27. Well, what symbol we do here? We take what symbol? Let's take a look here. 27 is a small number. 120 is big number. So 27 is less than. So clearly we come up with the first one here, less than, okay? Less than. Clearly it's less than, right? And the next one we do is basically checking out here, 576, of course, is greater than, as you clearly see, is going to be greater than. So this symbol is going to work out here. So why? Because that number is bigger here. Look, it's bigger. So that is the greater than symbol comes up to here. Play, okay. So that is how we compare also. I hope you like this video and you know how to come up with which fraction is bigger, which fraction is smaller, and also whether it's forming a proportion or not. Thank you very much.